Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to another session of math. Today we will discuss 6.5 operations with functions. In operations with functions, as you know, operations in math means addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And we have discussed that one before. Today's lesson we will go for evaluating a composite function and writing a composite function. Okay? So our lesson objective is to evaluate and to write it. Okay, let's have a look at, but before we go with that, let's have a look at what does this composition of functions mean? Okay, uh, if you are really aware of functions, you will know that we, it's, it's, uh, it works like a machine. Like you will have to input something, like in the machine you put coin and something comes out. So we say this is input. And this is output. This is output. This is input of the function g. And this is output of function g. Now we have another function, another machine working together. What does this do? This will take its input as the output of this function. Okay, so what is the input of f? Input of f is here, the set. Input of f is output of g, okay, and this f will have another output, okay. So, that means composition of functions will have two functions in which one uses its input as the output of some other function. I hope you understood this is a machine working like put the coin, something comes out, again something comes out like that, coffee machine or something like that. Okay, even more, you have more applications on that. And how do we write it? F dot G. F dot G is the uh, symbol we use to write the composition of functions F and G. Or we say F dot G X. F dot G X is equal to F of G X. So this is our lesson. We're going to evaluate this one and we will be writing this one. Okay. Let's get started. How we will evaluate. Okay. This is the question. Given f of x is 2 to the power of x and g of x is 7 minus x. Evaluate f of g4. f dot g4. What does this mean first of all? And uh, evaluate. If you know evaluate. Pretty sure about evaluate. Yeah. Evaluate. You need to plug it. You need to substitute will have to substitute. Substitute what? Substitute what is g4. If, if I wanted to find f of 1, what would I do? In f, in place of x, 1, I need to substitute. So I will write f of 1 is equal to 2 to the power of 1. This is the meaning of evaluate. Yeah. So this you know very well. Now f of g4, we have to see what is G4? This number. Like I got 1 here. But I don't know about G4. So I have to find G4. Of G of X will give you G4. Of so remember to get the inside one first. Okay. Out of these two functions just find G4. Of so how would I find G4? Of you need to evaluate G4. Of you know that you need to substitute. So 7 will keep the same. 7 minus. What is in place of X is 4. And that's going to be. Three. So the question now is change into f of g4. This question now reduces to f of g of 4 is 3. So it is f of 3. It's like f of 1 if you know how to find f of 3. From where did I get 3? 3 was g of 4. g of 4 is 3. So now you know that in f, you have to look at f. You need to give 3 in place of x. Plug in. So 2 to the power of x now is 2 to the power of 3. And 2 cube is 8 or 6. It's 8. That's it. Okay. That's it. So we stopped it. Let's have another example for evaluating. You are asked to find or evaluate this one. So let's begin. What should I do? I need to see the inside one. F of 3. So we should go for finding f of 3 first. f of 3. 
f so f function is the rule is 2x minus 3 2 and switch it plug in 3 minus 3 in here 6 minus 3 will give you a 3 are we done with that no we have to go for this yeah so g of the composite of g and f f of 3 composite function is the value of this composite function is going to be g of g of what is f of 3 it's 3 g of 3 g of 3 means in g in g the rule g you have to give in place of x3 we need to substitute so it's going to be x squared so it's going to be 3 and square because i have to plug substitute x as 3 so 3 square is 9 so that's it we stop now we move on to another objective our next objective is going to be writing a composite function so look at that example f of x is x square minus 1 this is the first function the second one and composite function you have to find g of fx this time you don't have a number you are not going to evaluate you are going to write an expression so you're going to get another function the third one which is the composition of these two functions so let's begin how we do how do we do is f of x is the whole thing so if you have g of 3 if you have g of 3 for example you will look at g wherever x is there you will substitute 3 in here you have to substitute the whole f of x look at how we do that g of f of x means i should write g the same function notation g in place of x i need to substitute the whole f of x so what is that f of x is it a number no the whole expression so g of x square minus 1 now here you need a little bit uh, better skill like you substitute f of x in x square minus 1 in, in place of x that is x square minus 1 so you have something like this what does this really mean is in g in g wherever you find x you will have to substitute the whole x square minus 1 okay be with me so what shall i do i will be looking at g the rule is x can i write x as the same no i should i should change wherever i have x i have to put x square minus 1 so the function is going to be x square minus 1 i can see a divide i should divide i can see 1 minus and what is again you can see x yeah so i have to give x square minus 1 okay so now what can i leave it like that no i have a bracket here i need to open it as in before so i have x square minus 1 over 1 will remain as 1 then minus just give see i i have i gave a bracket i hope you also will give now i have to distribute so it's going to be minus x square and it is a plus 1 so 1 plus 1 i have to do and on the top it remains the same on the, the on the denominator it is 1 plus 1 which is 2 2 minus x square can i simplify more no they all are unlike so i should stop so this is your the new function the required new function g of fx so now we know how to write the composite function that's it